Here's an example of um, some of the stamping up. This is the one that I had recorded recently. It is the month of October stamping up, and these are the cards that came with that kit. And if you're interested in looking at that, um, I did record kind of a little uh, snippet of it, just kind of giving you a, an in information on what was available in that kit. But th this is us putting it all together. I just stamped up the snow here. And what we did was, my friend actually got this from, I believe, one of the dollar stores. I'm not certain, but um, it's a simple flat um, block. So it kind of just gives you an idea of what you can do even with dollar store items. You don't have to buy expensive items from Michaels or Stamping Up to do this. I'm just letting you know that it, you can do it. It's still affordable. So what we did was we just stamped it with this stamping spot that came with the kit this is it happens to be knight of navy um so that's what we did with that and i just stamped it twice once over here once over here and then the kit itself already had came with the tree already stamped on there so then at this point we'll just take this and i'm going to be doing it kind of a 3d effect with the um dimensionals and if you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of snowy, glittery stuff going on with this tree. It kind of shines. So that's going to be sitting kind of 3D. And then you put this and you would stamp your sentiment, seasons, greetings, or whatever you want on here. And this would be 3D as well. You put it all together. And then at some point, you can also put the birds down on the uh, on this. And then from what you can see here, these are the options for the sentiments. In this case, you could do season's greetings. You could do winter wishes like my friend is doing. Um, this one's a little bit big, but you could do that somehow. Probably not on this, but maybe on the inside of the card as a sentiment. And that one just says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. You could even probably cut off part of this and just do the, you know, Happy New Year or Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on one of these with maybe a different type of tab. So you can do different little things like that with it. And I'll just show you that as we progress. So in order to put the dimensionals on there, this is what I'm talking about when we're talking about dimensionals. They come in different sizes. So in this case, these are a little bit, these are the mini ones. These are considered mini dimensionals, but you can also get larger ones depending on the work that you're doing. You might want slightly larger ones, but in this case, these will work just fine with, you know, to just kind of having, have them kind of stand up um, sort of 3D. And this is almost too big for the tree. we're gonna you can cut them or do whatever you want to do like my friend just said but um, I'm just picking slightly higher up on the tree but that's kind of the idea there and then you would just peel it back just take it off here and you put it on the card and it just kind of gives you a 3d effect Just make sure you don't have all the dimensional stuff on there. You just kind of put it down. And I didn't do a very good job of putting it on the tree, so probably would have benefited from cutting it a little bit. But that's kind of your idea there. So it kind of looks like it's standing up, like standing out. You see that? And then you would do, this would just go ahead and just get, um, glue down just like that like it is and then you would take this and 3d it as well so with this you would just do the um, glue you could do glue dots in this case I'm gonna go ahead and do glue dots I can't I don't really like glue dots very much they're not my favorite thing I have a love-hate relationship with them but if that's all you have then Go ahead and use the glue dots. And this is why I can't stand them because they sometimes stick to my hand. But 
<clears throat> sometimes you can't help but to use them because you're use you're working with something tiny. Um, but in this case, if I had it available to me, but I'm not very prepared today, um, I would have actually used my um, my glue tape, and I'll show you that um, later on in a little bit. But I tend to use my um, looks like. Here it is, here. I tend to use this a lot more. And this you can get through Amazon. They do also sell it stamping up and you can go to Michael's as well. I do have a link for this if you're interested in using this crafter's tape. I do have a link for the Amazon store. Um, I am an affiliate, but you're welcome to use the link if you're interested in doing that. So this, in this case, I will go ahead and take this and I will go ahead and stamp Season's Greetings on there and I will put this 3D and I'll show you that in a little bit. So with this, we're going to go ahead and take the Knight of Navy. We're going to stamp this on there. It's kind of to double check, you just make sure that it's what you want and the color you want. Go ahead and do it again. And I got stuck with some of those. Don't work as bad as I do, guys. Okay, so I did that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, stamp this here. Just kind of line it up. And the cool thing about these, the beauty of these, is that you do have, um, it is see-through, so you're able to line it up pretty well. You can see that. I don't even know if you can see that. There we go. You see that? Okay. So you're able to line it up pretty well here. And you just stamp it. And push down a little. This doesn't take a lot of pressure. It doesn't require a lot. And there you go. So there's the first one. And then you would just go ahead and do the 3D dimensional thing on there with this again so you put put it on the back again so that it just kind of stands out a little bit on the card and you peel back the little stickers and you just put it right back down and centered of course and there you are so then at this point I will take those um, lovely little glue dots that I've got that I just love so much and I would put my little cardinals wherever I want to. The kit does come with I believe I think 24 of these so you can do different things with them. You can probably do two or three cardinals if you want. You can even stamp some cardinals because the stamp set does have some cardinals so you can always stamp your own if you'd like. Um, but in this case, they do have some pretty little red ones here. So that we're going to take advantage of using those. And that's my card, guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and probably do a little sentiment on the inside. I might do the little snowflake here. And it'll be ready to go. I'll show you the rest of our, our work as we progress. And then we do have the other stamping up for the month of November to do as well. Those are Christmas tags, so I'll show you that as well. And this is the front, finished um, with the front of the card. This is the finished product. Um, the other thing that you could do that I would probably do here is stamping up cells. Um, something called a Wink of Stella. So I might go ahead and treat the branches of this tree with a little bit of Wink of Stella. So that's just another idea that you can do um, with this if you'd be interested in doing that. Um, but in this case, I am done with the front of my card. I could probably add in more little snowflakes, more of these if I wanted to. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more simple. And as you can see, I did put the cardinal one here and one up there. The way that the kit shows is it has it like this. But I thought it would be pretty to put one on my actual um, Christmas tree. So that's why I did it the way that I did. So again, just kind of gives you an idea of the things, different things that you can do with this card, make it your own. Um, you can add different sentiments depending on what you happen to have on stock. 
I have a lot of different Christmas ones, so I could totally do something different with this. I could even add snowmen to it. I could do all kinds of different things. So it does not necessarily have to be, um, you know, what the kit says. My friend just created this one, and she added a little bit extra snowflakes to hers. She did do the same winter wishes, and she happened to put the cardinals on the white birch tree instead of the Christmas tree. So that's hers. And again, she can do different things with hers. You could maybe put some, you know, little um, silver little doohickeys here. Whatever you want to do with it. If you think that this is too plain, maybe you could do silver instead of the, the brown wood. So there's different things you can do even with the kits that you get. I'll show you the rest of our stuff as we progress. Hello guys, so here we are with the uh, some of the finished um, cards. I went ahead and just kind of cut that um, little dimensional out a little bit here because it was sticking out and it was bugging me. So you can't see it very well, but you know, it was just kind of sticking out. The next time what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to cut cut it in half before I put it in there or try to find maybe, um, you know, some smaller glue dots or something. I don't know. But um, basically, long and short story, my friend ended up keeping this kit. What we do is we share and um, whoever likes it better will end up keeping that one and then the next person, you know, the next one that comes through, I keep. So in this case, because we did two kits, I went ahead and kept the stuff that goes to this kit. So she got um, half of the product, but I ended up keeping like the stamp set and that sort of thing. So anyway, and you will see this kit um, in the next video. This ended up being too long, so you'll see this and the makings of this in the next video. Um, but back to this one. In this case, I did create the cards, and because she was taking um, the stamp set, and I wanted to go ahead and create the rest of my cards, I added the snow, like I had shown you all before, um, to every single one. And I ended up with five cards. She ended up with five cards. But she did take the stamps and the ink as well. So I stamped the snow on all the cards that I had. And then I went ahead and used the sentiment. Because I did like the sentiment. Um, but she ended up keeping this one. So I didn't have, I don't have this one. So I went ahead and added it this time. And then I added the little bird because that's what I, I decided to go ahead and do. So I kind of did that on every one. This one I put a little different. And then this one, similar to the first one and that sort of thing. So on and for, so forth. So the other thing that I went ahead and did is I added the winter wishes to all of my little um, tags. And then I have all my little snow and my little birds that I'm going to use on the cards for later. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is when we do these things, I like to save, this is how I save paper and money and stuff. So like this is large enough. This comes off of um, this here. So it's this part here. You're not going to use that. So <clears throat> this is actually large enough and it's iridescent and really pretty to use for something else. So like in this case, I have a lot of snowmen stamps and punch. I'm, I'm about to get a punch out thing that I could punch out a snowman with this. So I'm definitely saving this paper because not only is it a piece of paper, but it's also, it has that iridescent glittery stuff going on with it. So it's special. And if I was to buy this, it would be expensive. So yes, it's little, but I still use what I can as much as I can out of the products that I buy. And this is a perfectly good example of that sort of thing where you can create other stuff using this. I have a lot of snowflakes too that I could use. Um, also punch out. So there's different things that you can do with, you know, just little pieces of paper. And this is decent size. <laughs> so that's the other thing. But anyway, um, there it is, our finished, the one card that I finished. We just ran out of time because we were trying to do two kits at once. And, um, you know, after a while, you know, creating, we, we need to kind of, um, you know, try to get things done, you know, in a, in a matter of a certain time, amount of time that we have. So there you all are and stay tuned for the next, um, kit. It'll be, um, linked at the bottom because this is a lot of fun as well. We had a lot of fun with this one. This one's just so pretty. So stay tuned for that guys. 
Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.